Hey guys, Jason with Fat Fender Garage, and I'm here with Brett Miller. He's one of our Coyote expert techs here. And so we want to talk today about the IMRC. I don't ever remember what the acronym stands for, but Brett knows. Intake Manifold Runner Control. Okay, so that basically is this garbage on the back of the intake right here, which supposedly changes the amount of air that is coming through. So it gives you a little bit more low end torque. It is so microscopic anyways, but in a custom install like this, where we have, we're trying to get more power out of everything in all areas, and we're not running cats and everything's a little bit cleaner, it makes the most sense to actually just remove that. So what we want to do is show you how to remove that from the system and what you do to set it up. You'll have to have your tuner. Uh, we sell Lund Racing tuning systems that can actually do the delete from the IMRC out of the computer. And then when you do your tuning, you're getting all the air that you need. If you're gonna add superchargers, turbos, you definitely wanna get rid of it anyways because you wanna be able to provide that extra power and you want those flaps to be open on the inside of the intake. So we're gonna show you really quickly how to take it off. You know, basically you're getting your heater hoses off. You're gonna take your fuel rail off and then Brett's gonna pull the intake off. Obviously a couple little wires to disconnect. Takes about, I don't know, 10 minutes 10 maybe minutes. to pull that out. Yeah. So Brett, talk to us about uh, this and what needs to come off when we need to remove this. So what we're gonna remove is both vacuum pods, both of the solenoids that will open up the intake runners. The vacuum pods, the intake runners, and the little controls the, that... Yeah, the motors and the vacuum okay. controllers. So all that's gonna come off, and so we'll grab some tools, we'll get it removed, and we'll show you what to do next. Lot of tiny little screws into the plastic. T20. So these are the motors. They just slide off of the intake runner axles. Okay, so when you get down at the bottom, you have your arm. So you gotta pop that off with these ball sockets. There's one on each side. So on each side you got those ball sockets that gotta come off. As you can see, they can be a little stubborn. Yeah, Ford don't want them to fall off. And then you're gonna have two vacuum lines that you need to remove. Disconnect that. And you're gonna slide this out the intake and it's gone. You've got a vacuum port here, which you can still use. This is going to be used for like a brake booster or something like yep. that. Yep. So you could still use some vacuum here. You're going to cap this off. And then at this point, you've got these little things right here. They move the doors in and out. So we'll flip this over. I don't know if you can see this or not. But when we rotate these, these little doors open and close in there. And what we want to do is we want to pin it open full time. What we've done is we've made a piece Try to make this as simple as affordable as possible where these will go on and these will pin those up and you can actually just use the screws that came right out of it to pin them back on so brett show us how those go on thank you that's closed closed that's open There they are. 
Never to be moved again. Yep. Now, so those are pinned. They're not going to move. They're stuck. They're pinned open. And basically, that's going to let all the air flow. So it kind of deletes this up here. You know, if you're not going to use this vacuum port up here, you're going to cap this off, and you're probably going to cap these little ports off. Yeah, the only one you'll probably them. use is this bottom one, and that's if you're running you a You may booster. use this for a booster. You can also use this one for a booster here. If you want, we've actually used this and just kind of run it up here. The port is a little bit bigger, so it's a little bit easier to for vac, you know, your vacuum line and same hose connected on both. But you know, that's it. You, know, you can go put this back on your truck uh, or your car, whatever you're doing, and it's been deleted. You want to make sure that you have that deleted out of your tune, so that when you start to drive, that everything's going to function and work properly, because they're going to see that those actuators are not working and so that's going to be turned off but other than that very simple it cleans up this back end puts it in there you don't have all this extra garbage that's uh, back there uh, pretty simple and at the end of the day we sell these parts for i think they're 25 bucks online you can buy them free shipping and uh, we'll get them out to you so take it easy we'll see you later